Hey guys, Technivers here. Today we are taking a look at yet another slicer. It's actually the slicer that came with my TiVo Tarantula Pro. It is called Repeater Host, and it looks very familiar. If you look up here on the right side, you can see that it says Slice with Cura Engine. There are other options. If you go in here, you can also slice it with the Slicer Engine and the Prusa Slicer Engine. So this slicer is capable of doing things that these three slicers can do and it can do all of them fairly well uh, if I go into the manager here and bring this in you can get a little inf information about these things it basically there's a license there for things and permissions and and stuff like that the actual slicer here uh, is changeable as well I'm gonna leave it for now and you can change profiles add slicers things like that I'm gonna go ahead and leave this alone um, you can see when I have my Kira engine brought up that I have some print settings here uh, the configuration the adhesion type the quality the support type speed infill density your basic settings uh, if I go in and open slicer Prusa edition it changes things for me and gives me a more slicer Prusa Prusa slicer specific interface and options so I'm gonna go back to Kira here we will import a model and slice it up here pretty soon but I wanted to check out the manual control option here now I am not connected to a printer but this is a very easy way to control your printer when it is plugged in and turned on as far as monitoring the bed temperature the extruder you can adjust the fan and the feed rate all from here and control your XYZ axis as well as your extruder so if you want to say calibrate your E steps you can pump in some G code here or just hit 10 millimeters on the feed for the extruder and pump it out there so that's a very very nice addition most slicers have these now this one is just very simple and very well designed I know the buttons are grayed out right now but you get the gist of all of that there are also some SD card options now I don't have an SD card inserted right now either but this is very handy as well because it is basically right next to the manual control you have basically your two forms of communicating with the printer and some options for each of them which is very handy so let's go ahead and bring a model in and start slicing it up and as you can see here I have this it is an object just called spinner disk this is for a, another video that I'm working on you'll get to see more about that later I'm gonna go ahead and go in here and rotate and rotate it 90 slide it over here and I am going to be using Kira engine to slice this we'll slice it up real quick and I will throw it on the printer we'll come back in a little bit and I will show you what it looks like how it comes out um, I'm very pleased with repeater so far it does a very good job uh, let's pop back in here real quick and just show you it says print preview and you can do show a single layer here or a layer range which is kinda cool um, so you can roll through and see exactly what it's gonna put down and where so um, we'll jump back to this when it's done printing and I'll show you how the final model came out and if you want to try Repeater for yourself it is available online for free I will try to find a link and put it down below um, it is very very sufficient for most slicing needs and then you have the option of using the different engines as well to slice your model so instead of going back and forth looking for something in Prusa slicer that you can't find in Kira you can generally do all of those things right from here so I also have this model open in Kira right now it's the exact same model um, and at 0.2 millimeter layer heights with printing temperature at 220 my speed is set to 60 millimeters per second oh nope it's at 90 let's change that it's gonna be 60 and we'll re-slice this 
Um, and this is Kira 4.3, I believe I'm using at the moment. Okay, so this is coming out to 7 hours 45 minutes. Um, show you a couple other things real quick. No adhesion, no support, um, all that good stuff. And infill is at 10%. Um, let's change that to 15 because that's what I have it set as. You'll see why I'm doing this in just a second here. Let it slice. There we are, 7 hours and 50 minutes. Okay, so uh, print temp 220, 15% infill, 60 millimeters a second. Okay, we're just going to close Kira. I've also got it open in Repeat Your Host here. Um, and I have the same settings, 2 millimeter, no adhesion. Uh, I have it set to fast print, which is 60 millimeters a second. And infill density, whoa way up at 50% we want that at 15% and cooling is enabled we will slice it and remember there are two other engines you can slice this within there to get a couple different settings things like that uh, but I am printing this at 3 hours 10 minutes and 39 seconds so that's the print we're gonna go with I did already print one a 10 hour print sliced with Kira I have it here. We'll compare the two when I'm done with the repeat your host version and see how it comes out. And as you can see, I have my part here that we sliced in repeat your host. It is relatively nice. I did warp it a little pulling it off the bed because the bed was still hot. So I simply turned it upside down on a flat surface and flattened it back out. But other than that, the uh, holes and things like that are pretty dimensionally accurate. So. We're going to roll with this. If you'd like to see what I'm doing with this, you'll have to subscribe to the channel and watch out for future videos. I'm doing a build video coming up, and you will see exactly what this piece is for. But for now, that's going to be it. I just wanted to let you guys know if you want to try Repeat Your Host, I will try to remember to put a link down below. If I forget, go ahead and yell at me in the comments. Um, that's basically it. I really enjoy using Repeat Ear. I like the fact that you could switch back and forth between slicing engines, although it did make it a little difficult to find particular settings for particular engines. But if you had enough time to sit here and check every setting in this thing, I think you'd be quite surprised to find out what it could do. And I know I enjoyed using it. So thanks for watching, guys. That's going to be it. As always, this channel is brought to you by the Spine Patreon supporters. If you'd like to support the channel on Patreon, head over to www.patreon.com slash technivorous. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. As always, thank you. I'll put a video up right here that you can check out for more of our stuff. And if you're still here and you haven't already, why don't you click right here and subscribe to the channel.